Welcome back to a brand new video. I have a deep investigation on what is going on in terms of shorting, toxic financing, and dilution of Mullen stock. It is very important to know the details of what you are invested in or considering investing in, the good, the bad, and the ugly. You have to know the facts of what you're invested in. It's so important to know this. I'm not saying this is the bad and bearish video. There is bullish and bearish information in this video. So that is why it's important if you're invested or considering investing in Mullen, it's a very important video to watch all the way through and show me how crazy the Mullen shareholder community is and get this video to over a thousand likes and comment down below Mullen army or Mullen family. Show me how crazy this community really is. And let me just state nothing in this video is financial advice. I'm not telling you to buy, hold, or sell Mullen stock at all. Mullen is currently at a $27 million market cap and Mullen Automotive is an electric vehicle company. Let's start with the chart before the deep investigation. We're currently sitting at 79 cents. Okay, and there is some support at 73 cent not very strong support, but there is some but there are two gaps in the chart You can see one big one right there and another one all the way back there One of them this big one fills at 70 cent and the other one fills at 63 cent these gaps don't always have to be filled in the chart But time and time again, I have seen these gaps fill fill with highly volatile stocks, whether it takes a few days to fill, a few weeks, or a few months to fill the gap. It does take time sometimes, but most of the time I see these gaps fill. Now the stock could rise 100% before it comes back down and fills them, but I've seen that happen just to come back down and fill them, so keep that in mind. You can miss a pump from this if you're waiting for it, the gap to fill, but personally me, I am going to consider adding shares when it fills these gaps at 70 cents or 63 cents. I would like to get shares at the 63 cent gap. Now, I personally may never get that. I may never get that, but I'm going to play it safe with this highly risky, highly volatile stock and get the best price that I can get. Remember, the company is not the stock. Get the best price for the stock. If you want to buy or sell a Mullen stock, use the Moomoo link in the top pinned comment. Deposit $100 after that. And after you deposit that, you'll get one free share of NEO and five free stock. For example, if you sell that share in NEO and buy Mullen, if you wanted to do that, not financial advice, you could get over 20 shares of Mullen. Mullen is number three most active and number one most new watchers in the last 24 hours on Stocktwitch. Quick background of what Mullen has accomplished recently before getting into the interesting data that is really the beef of this video. In the beginning of November 2021, Mullen started trading on NASDAQ at a price of $11 through a reverse merger with Net Elements ticker N-E-T-E. -E. Since then, Mullen has posted great news, including purchasing a 124,000 square foot manufacturing facility with plans to build out another 1.2 million square feet. And this is exactly what it looks like right now. The Mullen 5 Vehicle won the LA Auto Show 2021 Top SUV Vehicle Awards beating Rivian's R1 S vehicle. They partnered with ARRK, DER, and DSA Systems, three companies that will support the production of Mullen's EV vehicles. And here are all the press releases. I got all the facts right here for you in this video. They were ranked number two on the top 10 EV startups to watch in 2022 due to its potential to change the EV landscape. And that was from Hot Cars. They partnered with Camo to expand their facility to 1.2 million square feet. So a fourth partner since they went public on NASDAQ. They received four 40 million from Asusa Holdings. And this is where it's gonna get interesting. Asusa Holdings is, is gonna be a big topic of this video, which is actually a horrible toxic financing agreement. This this PR, you see 40 million, you get excited. Well, this is actually a bad deal, and I'm gonna get into that in this video. A study indicated that Mullen 5 is highly competitive with the Tesla Model Y and Ford Match E, and the result will support Mullen's Department of Energy loan application for 450 million. They had to increase Mullen five EV reservations to 25,000 from 5,000 because demand has been overwhelmingly high with increasing social media attention after an LA show. Deliver the first EV cargo van fleet vehicles in quarter two and filed over 120 patents for the EV5. A former Tesla lead for advanced manufacturing group joins Mullen as the VP. On February 28th, Mullen posted data on the Mullen battery showing 600 plus miles on a full charge and over 300 miles of 
of range with 18 minutes of charging. And this news was put out on the same day. The stock rose 185% to $2. It's now 79 cent, but that is what pretty much kind of triggered the running away. With all that good news, you may be surprised that Mullen is only at a $27 million market cap compared to its competitors, Rivian, for example, sitting at a multi-billion dollar market cap. It gets much deeper than just this, so we got to get into that. While all that news was pouring out, the stock price fell from $15 to $0.50 cent while all this great news was coming out. Throughout that time, this is when the news was coming out, and this is what the stock price was doing. It is the shocking 96% drop. This company went from a potential Tesla competitor to a stock under $1, and this is where the stock is not the company really comes into play because you have all this fantastic news, but if you really look into what is going on with the stock within the filings, the picture starts to become more clear on why this price action has been taking place and a lot of the reasons to why, including shorting, toxic financing agreements, and we're gonna get into that. First, you need to know this. Taking a look at the quarter for 2021 earnings, they only have $360 cash on hand. Most of you have more than $360 cash in your bank account, so a lot of us, including me, have more cash on hand than Mullen, so that's obviously not so good. So what are they gonna do to get cash? Is they're going to do offerings. And we're going to talk about the offering, but that is the, the, the fact that they have $360 of cash. It's so important for them to receive $450 million that they applied for from the Department of Defense because they have literally no cash. So they got to get some money. It's in progress. We don't know how long it's going to take for them to get this $450 million. Investigation into the toxic financing and dilution of Mullen stock. Mullen filed a Form S3 with the SEC on February 1st, 2022 for the authorization of potential issuance of 228 million common stock. The CEO signed this form. An S3 form is to register to issue shares and there is a lot of dilution on the table and dilution that has already taken place. You can see right here an offering for 228 million shares. Now, let's get into this. These shares don't exist until the conversions occur. Many conversions have already taken place. What does this all mean? First of all, if you look it up right now, you will find out that the float is only 22 million. But the volume for all last week adds up to 1.6 billion shares traded, and there's only 22 million shares available to be traded. So they traded 1.6 billion all last week with only 22 million public float, which is absolutely crazy. And if you look at that alone, there should be no reason why this stock was held down. But we got to get into it a little bit deeper. There may have already been shares added to the float and not yet updated. I've seen this happen many times when a company adds shares, but it takes weeks to update on all these other platforms. So don't be surprised if there are a ton of shares added to the count soon and many panic sell because that is a scenario that could that could play out where they add a bunch of shares and everybody panics and everybody panics sell. So keep that in mind. That could happen. You got to know what can happen and you got to know what's good about the company as well. That's why we go over bullish and bearish sides. The worst case scenario, all 228 million shares are added to the float and the float goes up to 250 million from 22 million, which would not be so good now. But it's also not the end of the world because that would put the market cap at around 208 million. And that is the worst case scenario. If they add all ma max dilution, absolute max dilution, that would put them at 264 million shares and a 264 million float around that area. And that would put them at a $208 million market cap. You look at some of these other ones like Centro, which is formerly naked at a $314 million market cap. And then you got all of these other companies with multi-billion dollar market caps, including Rivian. The 228 million shares is the number of authorized shares that Mullen can add to the current share count. And they can turn those authorized shares and, and, and add outstanding shares. So keep that in mind as well. If the share price goes up, they can authorize these shares for offerings, equity raises, and much more, which would be very positive for shareholders and obviously the company if the share price goes up and they can do that. Asusa Holdings, pay attention to this name, Asusa is the company that holds onto all of the obligation of these shares through a few things, including warrants, which have an exercise price of $8.84 and an equity line credit for 30 million at a share price of 96 cents, which is about 31 million shares. 
meaning most likely 31 million shares are going to be added to the float. Why did they have warrants at $8.84 though? Many believe that they are holding these because they believe the price will eventually go above $8.84. And this is where the bad financing comes in. ASUSA has established an agreement with Mullen that allows them to purchase stock at 68 cent per share. And this is exactly what it says in the filing. One of the note holders in Mullen Technologies entered into an additional securities purchase agreement date as of May 7th, 2021, providing the purchase of 29 million shares of Series C preferred stock of Mullen Technologies at a price per share of 68 cent per share and five year warrants to purchase at no additional cost, 75 million shares of common stock of Mullen Technologies at an exercise price of 68 cents. An additional 40 million of Series C preferred stock with similar warrant coverage may be sold by Mullen Technologies to the investors. So this is a toxic, toxic, bad deal. ASUSA, and it only gets worse, ASUSA is only allowed to buy up to and hold 9.99% of the current float at a time. This is all from the filings. I got everything here for you so you guys know this is all facts. ASUSA also has the right to sell and short Mullen. It, it says in the filings that they have the right to sell and short Mullen stock. So this is the, it gets worse and worse and worse here. ASUSA has retained the right to sell 9.99% of its stock to its partners as well. This is extremely toxic because ASUSA has six different partners, which are all able to hold 9.99% of the outstanding shares of Mullen as well. This means that Mullen practically has to give ASUSA 9.99% of common stock to ASUSA and all six of its partners. And those partners also have their own partners and they can also sell 9.99% of the stock to their partners, creating an awful cycle of dilution that has killed the stock price and continues to bring the stock price down, ASUSA's plan is to hold a majority of the float and do a hostile takeover of Mullen, but retail investors may get in the way. ASUSA is the same company that diluted Naked, which is now ticker CENN, Central Automotive, and take a look at where the price of that company has went with ASUSA involved. It's tank. Now, this is a completely different situation because Mullen has a much lower market cap and a lower share structure, but Naked was a victim to this dilution by ASUSA. They started this dilution of Mullen stock in early February and diluted over 50% of the stock. All this dilution is done to try and drive the share price of Mullen down to eventually acquire the company for pennies. What is so crazy about this is Michael Wax, who is the managing director at ASUSA, was banned from banking and trading in the market. He's banned from trading and banking because he engaged in fraudulent schemes to purchase Chase Bank assets and then immediately resell them for profit, but he is not banned for working for a company that finances other companies. This is not his only charge in lawsuit. He is also involved in multiple other lawsuits. ASUSA is a crooked organization that enters into horrible financing agreements with new companies, kind of bait to men probably, just to try and drive the share price down to acquire the company for pennies. Mullen is not able to cancel this agreement unless they are able to pay off their debt. And what ASUSA wants to do is drive the share price down below $1 for 30 days and eventually cause the company to get delisted. And when the company gets delisted, whoever owns the most shares of the stock will essentially be able to take it over and they can take it over cheap because if they do, there is a lot more upside value than taking it over at a very expensive price and acquiring it at a very expensive price. They probably weren't gonna be able to acquire this in general unless they signed this awful financing deal. I'm not saying they are gonna acquire this company. They may not be able to drive the stock price down because of all the retail investors getting into it, but let's continue on this. Many are also saying that market makers want to push Mullen to the point of delisting to take away any competition in the EV market. They don't want this really promising EV company to, you know, threaten these other big dogs. ASUSA is the number one reason Mullen has been brought down from $11 to 50 cents, but it's a combination of both dilution and shorting in an attempt to to acquire the company cheap by driving the share price down, you could call it a malicious takeover attempt. Can Mullen get out of this? Only if the share price goes up significantly. If Mullen does an at the market offering after the share price goes up, that will allow them to get out of their financing agreement, meet the debt obligations, and buy back the debt at a much lower price. Many people are asking if the CEO, David Mickery, is in on this bad deal and could he actually benefit from the share price moving lower, the CEO himself? Well, something very interesting, 
I found is the CEO sent out a tweet before the big run that shared a video titled Short Squeeze Bomb Waiting to Explode. And this is what the tweet looked like. It was David Mickry's official Twitter account. He ended up deleting this tweet since. So I don't know about you, but if I wanted the share price to move lower, I would not be talking about a short squeeze of the stock unless he planned to dilute more stock on a possible run up. Maybe they let loot, maybe they let go for a little bit and let it run up and then they dilute it on the pop. Comment what you think about that. Now let's continue on. What is also interesting is Asusa is shorting and driving the price down while also accumulating shares at this cheap price to go long on Mullen. An argument to why they are trying to take over Mullen because if Mullen's only problem is cash and cash is all they need because their technology is so game changing, they just need to get this technology out there and have more cash to produce their vehicles, then a company with cash could completely change it up. I don't know, that's definitely something to think about. Now let's get into what's been going on with the shorting and the short attacks and the short exempts of Mullen stock and then I'll give my overall view of this at the end of the video. So on February 28th, when Mullen went up to nearly $2, there are more than 22 million short exempts issued on that day, which was more than the entire float on that day. The float was 22.7 million on that day. Essentially no shares were organically traded on that day because all of them were short exempts pretty much not affecting the price. Short exempts are rare and that is why you don't hear about them often. Short exempt refers to a short sale order that is ex exempt from the price test of the SEC regulation. Now, if the price goes against the ones using these short exempts and the price actually rises, they will need to cover the failures to deliver that the short exempts create if they are not located. Mullen had 13.9 shares shorted on Friday and let's look at the Ortex data. The short interest is up to 20% and 22% of the free float is on loan. What could happen is if retail continues to buy shares out of the market, that would be available to the market maker and then the market maker would be forced to borrow more shares and if the price continues to go up, then they have to borrow even more. And if that continues, they will overextend their risk and there will not be enough shares in existence to cover. And if they cover all of those fake synthetic shares out of the market, it could cause a huge short squeeze, but that would be extremely hard to achieve. Overall, this is the crazy story and we don't even have all the facts yet and there are still many unanswered questions, especially from the CEO. I personally am very interested to see how this all plays out. Comment down below how you think this will play out and this will either turn into the biggest short squeeze in history or one of the most malicious takeovers of a promising company through shorting, short exempts, synthetic shares, naked shorting, toxic financing, and all those unethical tactics used by market makers to drive the stock price to the ground everyone share this video on stock twitch twitter and reddit to spread the word about what is going on with this stock and help get this video over 1000 likes if i missed anything throughout the video please comment down below what i missed and let everybody know penny stocks are very hot right now we have hit so many runners over in the private discord in the past few days and weeks jj made eighteen thousand dollars from an nxmr call in the discord recently make sure you head over to the discord turn on the notification bell subscribe to the channel that's it for me peace